up, YouTube? How you guys been? Hopefully being as safe as possible. Hello YouTube, this is Reno Dan and that was Motorbike Mike's footage right there and I'm about to go the importance of creating space while you're riding. This is his footage and we're going to go over what's happening. Now this right here indicates to me that I need to do one or two things, either slow down or create some space. Either way I want to create space so I can be safe. The whole purpose of riding is so your cars don't hit you and you can't assume the cars see you because if you do they're going to hit you and then you're going to be in a bad position and it's probably gonna cause injury or death. It happens all the time. So right here, Motorbike Mike does a really, he's trying to give space, he's being patient, and then all of a sudden something happens. Now I wanna ask you guys, what's wrong with this picture and what would you do? I know what I would do. I would go right to safety. I'd go right between these two cars and book it and go hard and not even look back, assuming that the Mercedes Benz isn't gonna like take off and try to rear end me. That has happened, I'm gonna give you a story about that later in the video. Now this right here is another example of motorbike Mike. He's a pretty good rider. So he sees, he has good vision. So he sees that the lead car is pulling over to the right. It's a semi truck to the right hand side. And then the truck is to the right hand side too. And then he goes down, down the road. Now what makes this a pretty good riding on Mike's part is, is that if Mike did try to split lanes there, he'd have been potentially getting hit by the oncoming merging traffic because he let him move to the right hand side and being a little patient, it allowed him to then aggressively get on the gas and create space. Creating space is one of the most valuable things you can do as a motorcycle rider. I don't know if they teach you enough, I'd rather have a ticket than get killed any day of the week. If there's open area, you can take it where you're not boxed in by vehicles because you can't trust them to see you and you can't assume that they will or do or they care. So it's your life, your safety in your hands and you gotta ride like it. So here's again another example of Mike. He is creating space, getting on the gas, getting on an open road. If there's open road, always take it. Whether you're on a little bike or a big bike, you don't have to go a million miles per hour, 150, but if there's open road, take the open road. It's a lot safer than being trying to box in by vehicles and hopefully they can see you or not see you. So here he goes again, he switches lanes, cuts over, and now he's about to go really fast, which is very important because you never know when a car behind you is gonna rear end you. Now here's the story that I'm gonna end up with and after the story, we're gonna end the video. One of the guys I work with on a Harley Davidson, no less, was rear ended he did a lane change and he didn't go hard enough for aggressiveness and that lane change a truck hit him in the in the rear and he's lucky to be alive he didn't get some injuries the moral of the story is if you're going to create space and you're going to lane change don't do it soft don't do it weak don't <clears throat> barely get on the gas do it like mike did create space go hard go for it get the open road and then go back where you recently passed. That's the safest way to do it. Otherwise, you'd be like my Harley Davidson co-worker that got rear-ended and lucky to be alive. All right, my name is Rhino Dan. Thanks for watching, and this is Motorbike and Ice collaboration video. Thank you. Well, guys, that's how you don't ride a motorcycle. Very aggressive this morning. So anyways, you guys ride safe. Take care. Peace. And don't do what I do.